What is tyrosine? How can you enjoy its competitive advantage? Hi everyone, it's Mazen. Welcome to the Maximal Life. You may recall how you've had great days at the office when you were brimful of energy, sharp as tack, on the ball with those negotiations. And the great ideas seemed to just flow effortlessly, abundantly, when you were brainstorming. How you found yourself saying, I'm on fire today. I am the man. But do you also remember how you've had frustratingly bad days when your energy levels seemed to dip and your performance was below what you know you're capable of? Remember those moments when you hear yourself say, man, what's wrong with me today? What do you think was the difference between a super productive day that left you feeling satisfied about yourself and the slow, sluggish day when something seemed to be holding you back from your peak performance? Sure, there were different sets of circumstances in each case. There were those days when everything around just seemed to unravel. But did you get a chance to examine how the choices you made on those given days contributed to your day being great, mediocre, or flat out terrible? The amount of sleep you got, whether or not you fit in a refreshing morning workout, and wait for it, the sort of breakfast and lunch you ate. It's little known fact that hugely affects all of us. Today, I want to share with you how protein was the likely hero on that day. When your mind, your body, and your energy levels worked in tandem to keep you alert, productive, creative, and unflagging. A day that ended with you feeling satisfied and happy with your achievements. The protein advantage, proved by science, experienced by all. The link between protein intake and athletic performance is well established. For a long time now, we've understood how elite athletes have higher protein needs. And researchers have found that they could need 50 to 100% more protein than those with sedentary lifestyles. It has been reported that the top level executives must care for their energy as much as NFL quarterbacks do. Obviously, every individual has their own needs, but I'd like you to consider how the demands of your day is similar to that of an elite athlete. How you require a similar level of stamina, strength, and support. Beginning early in the morning, you're probably taking a bit of a time for a short shop workout, followed by breakfast and then a barrage of meetings, presentations, visits with clients, brainstorming sessions, interfaces with business associates, and times that require intense, fierce concentration. At some point, you would insert lunch between back-to-back -back meetings. Then in the evening, you may look forward to some relaxing family time, an enjoyable game of something, or a burst of activity at the gym. With so many demands on your time and the requirement for sustained energy levels throughout the day, your maximal day is very much like an elite athlete. And so can be your protein needs. To refine our understanding of how protein affects our performance, focus, and mental endurance, let's look at how the building block of protein are utilized by the body and by the brain. A vital building block of protein is the amino acid tyrosine. And tyrosine produces neurotransmitters like adrenaline and dopamine, which help you be more alert, focused, and sharp, specifically in times of pressure and high demands. Pretty powerful stuff for maximal achievers, right? Let's talk about the military, another group of maximal achievers that need to perform demanding tasks for longer, sustained periods of time. Even minor adverse effects could result in military personnel falling short of optimal outputs in the mission setting. Hence, researchers also examined the impacts of dietary supplements that included tyrosine and the specific needs of military personnel, only to reach very favorable results. When life gives you a lemon, ask for something higher in protein. As maximal achievers, we take adversity, we take life's challenges, and find ways to come out on top every time. Every time. We find out what foods are the villains in our lives, and which foods are the heroes. I find the working of the human body and mind endlessly fascinating. So when I come across a concept that interests me, I like to find out everything about it. When I read the research on protein in general, and tyrosine in particular, 
also started to read up about others and their experiments with protein. I read about a personal trainer to the celebrities, the big celebrities, who carefully customizes the shakes that she recommends for each of her clients. When there is a specific need, say building muscle, losing weight, increasing attention spans, she would tweak the type and proportion of ingredients of the protein shake. Here is another one that I want to share with you. A management consultant I know got started on protein shakes in college. At that time, he did this because he wanted to bulk up. But later in his professional life, as a busy consultant always on the move, he found that shakes were an excellent source of nutrition on a busy day. A convenient way to consume the quality calories that help with sustaining his performance throughout the work day. He's now into cross training and healthy eating. The shakes help maintain muscle mass and keep him alert and, in, and also energetic throughout the whole day. It's a quick and convenient for him to consume a quality protein shake and it ensures that he does not have to worry about hitting that dreaded midday slump because his busy day led him to an unwise snack choice. Examining all the data I collected, I made a startling discovery. You are as good as your last meal. In other words, your food choices have an immediate and direct impact on your day and how it unfolds. Leverage your food intake, leverage what you know about your brain chemistry, and boost your productivity. Before I share with you all my tried and true methods to get the best quality protein into your daily intake, there's just one more study that I now recall and I gotta share it with you. It is very relevant to what we're talking about at this point. Okay. This study conducted at the Birmingham Young University revealed some surprising statistics about healthy eating and the concept of presenteeism, where a person maybe is physically present at work but performing less than optimally. The comprehensive study that examined data collected from over 19,000 participants found that employees with unhealthy food habits were 66% more likely to report loss in productivity and those who exercise only rarely were 50% more likely to report low productivity, low productivity levels. It's important to note here that diet had even bigger impact on productivity than exercise habits. What you put into your body determines your energy levels, productivity, mental dexterity, focus, and even your immunity. Shouldn't we all be putting more thought into what turns up in our tables and our plates and consequently in, into our stomachs? Here is how you can up-level your nutritional inputs to up-level your performance outputs. Since reading up all this research, I started to change and tweak my own intake to see what food affected me and how. Since the importance of consuming quality protein became evident, I make sure to keep my positive input protein shake with me at all times. This is for reasons of convenience as well as work performance enhancement. Downing a shake with carefully chosen and balanced ingredients is a great way to quickly get the required protein I need without having to buy and prepare various types of meals every day. I started to notice almost right away when I started to make healthier food choices and not only was I more productive but I also found myself getting better ideas. In fact, I was bursting with ideas. My wife calls it boom boss mode. Seriously, I was a better team player. Very importantly, I was a better leader, more focused, dynamic, and decisive. Here's another important point. Identify and recognize your cravings for what they are. If you're reaching for that sugary cereal for breakfast because it seems appetizing and because of the spurt of energy you experience after, or if you having a brown bread toast and orange juice because it's marketed as healthy and low calorie, try some of these more nutritious and delicious ideas. Poached eggs with spinach and chickpeas, baked eggs and avocados, plain yogurt and fresh fruit sprinkled with mixed nuts, some quinoa, and also oats mixed with it in coconut milk with fruit and nuts. These are quick to make, delicious and satisfying, and not just filling. Most importantly, they offer sustained energy release. For my midday snack, I reach for a cup of Greek yogurt, a good portion of tuna, a hard-boiled egg, trail mix, some roasted chickpeas, or even a cheese slice. It could also be an apple, a banana. The options are many. 
I choose carefully from what I have at hand and what seems appetizing at that time. By far, the easiest and most rewarding snack choice I make, however, is my positive input protein shake. The convenient shaker bottle gets it ready quickly and easily. The taste, I just gotta tell you, it's delicious, and I can have it right at my desk or while walking from meeting to another. No mess, no fuss. The way that it powers me throughout the day is really what is remarkable. I find the protein shake to be of such nutritional value that I admit I grab extra ones on those days when I don't really have time for a proper breakfast or even a proper lunch. The thing is, I know that I have consumed something that is really valuable for my body and maintains my peak performance levels. I know that my food choice is a wise one, something that will give me sustained energy and vital nutrients from my body and my brain to function optimally. Give your body and your brain the boost it deserves. So here is what I do. I shop smart. Based on my nutritional requirements for the coming days, I make a list and I stick to it. I minimize the amount of unhealthy stuff that gets into my shopping cart and therefore my home and into my body. I stock up with my healthy positive input protein shakes and keep the shaker bottles handy, ready for use at work and at home. So the next time you have a big presentation or an important client meeting, make your food choice carefully. See how you perform. Your increased energy levels and enhanced mental acuity and perhaps an improvement in your negotiation skills will demonstrate to you that what I'm saying is the truth. You can change how your body and mind functions. Make your food choices count for you every day. Get into the habit of being full of energy, being a dynamic leader and someone who makes consistently good decisions. Make the change today. Thank you for joining me today. I trust that I gave you some food for thought, literally and figuratively. Give yourself the tyrosine and protein advantage and see the difference for yourself. Make healthy choice something that comes natural. Keep making healthy choices. Keep leading the maximal life. If you like what you have seen and heard, please subscribe.